exercises or dance combinations at home, make sure that you have a sturdy chair with a nice firm back. Again, this is Bob in my videos. He always likes to join. And so again, sturdy chair, all four legs nice and sturdy. Press down into your chair, don't pull on your chair, don't push your chair, don't tip your chair. Okay, press down as if you were using a walker, you don't pull and twist your walker. So press down, that will make you grow taller too in space. We're gonna start with our feet in a parallel second position. So many times we can start with the same distance of the legs of the chair that can help you monitor where your feet are, especially since we don't have a mirror sometimes that we can dance in front of at home. So here we are in parallel position. Um, when we are in parallel, we want to make sure our knees are tracking directly over our ankles in the center part of our feet, okay? And we wanna have our hips pointing straight forward, not tipping down, but ideally straight forward as we bend our knees over our feet. We'll do this dance combination in parallel second, also in parallel first, which is like the number 11. So parallel first, knees tracking directly over center of the foot, heart is lifted. Got it? Okay, those are the two primary positions for our feet. There's one additional uh, position that we will use and we will do a lunge position. And again, our knee is directly over our ankle on this, not over our foot, but over our ankle and stretching our leg back. And that's really important that the foot is not rotated, but it's in parallel, it's coming from that number 11 position. Okay, so I know this might be going a little fast, but remember you're doing this on a video so you can stop and start and rewind. And this is really important to stretch out our calf muscle. When we are in a lunge position, remember we don't wanna dump our chest forward. We wanna keep that heart lifted. Today in our, in our Zoom class, we talked about our diaphragm and the lifting of our diaphragm as we breathe in and exhale and it's softening, okay? So we wanna keep our heart lifted as we stretch back. And of course, I've been in that position for some time, and especially if you've been mirroring me at home being in that position, um, it feels you know, weird to kind of just do one leg and then not the other. Again, we don't wanna push away from our chair, that can cause us to lose our balance, but I'm pushing down in my hand here to help me keep nice and stable and strong. So we now have three feet positions. Um, we have three positions of our feet. And then the last one that we're gonna play around with is at the end, we're gonna rotate our legs out from our hips and not, our toes are not gonna to be very far to the side, but just a little bit. So we kind of loosen up that hip socket a little bit and we'll test our balance in, in that position. So again, when you do plies, your knees are over your feet, over your feet, Oh, one other step I wanted to do, releve. Releve means to rise. So I like to think I have a little elevator underneath my heel and I'm going to go up to the third floor. So here I am on first floor, second floor, third floor, and then all the way down. So I've danced a number of years, so I can go up pretty high. So you may wanna just test your balance here, little stretch, and as your feet get stronger, you can go all the way up possibly, okay? You'll notice I'm in a small space. So the luxury of that is I can use the wall to, to help me with my balance. My hands are um, not behind me, okay? That can cause me to lose my balance, but they're in front of me, right there, planted nice and strong. So let's play around with this standing exercise and enjoy.
Moving up to round it up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two. You'll notice my heart is lifted. And I'm going to take my elbow to the side. Unfold my arm. Reach up. Take my chair. Tilt away. Six. Come up. Elbow in. Elbow reach. So we've done our plies, nice, slow, big, gentle movement, testing our balance in an upright position, just like all dancers do every day. And so now we're going to start stepping out a little bit. Again, you can do this from a seated position or a standing position. At first, we're going to do stepping side to side like we did in the plies, but this time it's going to be a little faster in time to the music, okay? Again, if you need to move slowly, do so. Always move smart. Now you're gonna do two steps to the side. One, two, one, two. You'll notice that I still have the chair, okay? One goes in, one goes out. So the dance combination is two steps, one to the side, another one to the side, and then we go one goes out, one goes in. And starting over two steps, one out, one in. That's pretty much the whole pattern in this particular dance combination. We'll add some arms, some different things. Add your personal style. We are going to walk around our chair in time to the music. So you'll notice my hand is still on the chair. I can stylize with this hand, right? If you feel tired, you can sit and make my way around. We'll test our balance here, and then we can go all the way around the chair. So if you have a chair that has a nice high back, usually you still have room to reach if you need to, or sit down. If you feel right on your balance, of course you can let go. Let's begin. Thank you. 
important to stay hydrated. As you know, we keep reminding you, but please stay hydrated through your dancing and your exercises and your daily life. So when you are working out at home, make sure that you have water near you. Also another good reminder, in your working, um, when you dance and work out in your home space, that you have a space that's pretty cleared out so that you don't have to worry about knocking something over or tripping over something. Also, I would suggest always having a chair fairly close by in that workout area because if you do get tired, you can sit down and catch your breath and relax a little bit and then regain your composure. So water, a safe chair, plenty of space to move. And so what we're gonna do in this very small space that I have to share some dancing with you is we're gonna do a little walking combination without my chair, um, but I do have the wall if I needed assistance or a chair close by, so I have tools for myself. Okay. So let's learn this combination. We're building off of the stepping two times, one time, one time. This time we're traveling forward on the diagonal. My feet are in that number 11 position, okay? Stepping forward one, together, one, together. So I was traveling forward on a diagonal, fancy, and then one to the side, and one to the side. Out on the diagonal, I'm giving you a little dancer's secret. If I were to have took that dance combination and, and stepped straight forward, I would have run out of space. Dancers like to use diagonals and they're very pretty. They're very powerful and dramatic. So we're gonna go with a little drama and save some space. One, together on the diagonal. Go side and side and out. you can use your hands pressing. Earlier in our Zoom class, we did pressing exercises with our hands, press, star hands, and out, and out. We did a lot of swaying to loosening up our spine, and side, and side. So to you, my audience, it may look like I'm pretty much traveling side to side, but you can see I did move a little bit forward. Now, the other thing, we will use is we will probably do a little turn around and remember when we do I did this in a walking YouTube video when you turn you step into the turn moving forward 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 into the turn here I come to my end table I gotta use that as balance there so I don't knock anything over okay forward into my turn like I'm driving a car forward 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 into the turn and I will add back step, a back step, a back step. I'm going to give this chair a little push here. And so. Thank you. 